Your dish is only gonna be as good as what you start with. If you start with substandard product, at your best, you're only gonna have a substandard meal. Starting with a good product really makes it easy to end with a good product. I'm Jason Cern, the executive chef of Coletta in Alpharetta. I started off in the pizza business. My first time making a pizza, I was six years old uh, in my grandfather's kitchen. So I've been making food forever. So my grandfather taught me early and I was always drawn to Italian food. And that's where I just felt most comfortable. I got serious in food about 2007, 2008. I made the transition from a corporate environment where I was middle management running restaurants into cooking from scratch. And then as I learned that new vision of what food was, um, I found out that I really, really loved it. So I kind of ran at that. So went to culinary school late, started working in fine dining and then just really took off from there. I was in middle management and got caught up in a, a corporation in middle management where they just decided to start doing the job themselves. At that point, especially pizza was all I had known. So I ended up getting a job line cooking and it was a restaurant that did pizza from scratch and realized that I was passionate about scratch cooking and learning as much as I could. So I decided to, you know, to really run at that and uh, started doing culinary school and started really getting involved in what actual food was. Getting in the game late, I already knew how to be successful in doing the aspects of the restaurant business that people struggle with, like understanding the math behind everything, like A plus B equals profit. So um, when I went to culinary school and I learned how to actually make food, I was one step ahead, which is why I kind of in 10 years I, I excelled very, very fast. I believe in balance, so I, I believe like when I execute a dish or, or pastas especially, everything is executed the way that, it, or at least I was taught it's supposed to be. So I don't believe in cutting corners, um, and I believe that translates to the dishes. I am uh, in the group of chefs that really truly believe in local. So everything I get from my animals, to the majority of my produce, anything that can be gotten regionally is, which is why I change with the seasons. At the, the first winery I was a chef at, or to eventually become a sous chef at. Um, that was my first introduction to farm to table because we had a four acre garden. I was at Montalucci for two and a half years. And uh, I really, that was where it was the most pivotal change in my, my idea of what food was. Um, just because we grew the food there, we had local farmers, um, that were like in Jasper, so it was very, very regional. Hey, Jason, how, hey, are, you? how are you? Good, good to see you. You too. So let me tell you what we have available for this week, um, whether your orders are coming up this week or for the weekend. So it looks like we're gonna have this crop available for this weekend, which is our romaine heads. They're sold in a case of 24, as you know, but the best part is you don't have to rinse or wash them and they're just ready to go for your chefs to uh, put on the plate. I like it. Yeah, and then also if you're interested in arugula, this makes a great dish for all Italian restaurants, is this is our full size arugula and it can be cut smaller or larger, just depends on what you're looking for for a full dish or a small dish. Um, that's completely up to you, but the flavor is wonderful. Grown hydroponically, you're gonna find that all the nutrients are in the water, so it's really gonna taste really, really nice for a restaurant like Coletta. You're gonna to wanna to really start like with it. a great ingredient. Well, I'm gonna do the arugula salad in like a olive oil and lemon juice to just really accent the, the pepperiness of the arugula. So I think that would be good with it. Okay. Um, Cause it's gonna go with the pork marsala, which is a rich dish. So okay. you can keep it simple. That, that sounds good. Well, we have a whole greenhouse full of different greens, but I did wanna show you where the kale is, which is right over here. I don't believe in buying, you know, commodity product from a vendor that I don't know where it came from or, or how the animal was raised. Just because, you know, I believe that, you know, my two brother's sheep that I get my lamb from. I just, I believe in, in that and I believe in using whole animals. So I am in that group of people that, that really believe that that matters. I get to try to really get precise muscle cuts and do specials, so I'll use 
you know, lamb chops, which will only have four for that delivery. So I'm only gonna have four specials on that one or the back strap is a really popular special when I pull that. I only get a certain number though, so it also breeds a little bit of exclusivity to the guest because there's only four of those specials. So it's stuff like that that keeps us connected to what we're doing because it's some aspect, especially in a busy restaurant, you can feel that you're just selling plates. You know, you're just selling food. You know, you really want to remind the people why we do what we do. Modern concepts never do really well in Atlanta, so they like more traditional things here. The support structure that you need to succeed is, is very, very real. I have a very great support system with my ex-wife and, um, you know, and like she's very supportive of what I do and, um, you know, we, it works really well. For us and at Indigo Road especially, it is about the guest experience. Like we want you to come in and if nothing else, even if for some reason you're eating at one of our restaurants, you're just like, yeah, you know, the food's just not for us. But man, they made us feel good. You know, that's what we're about. I'm not, I'm not a believer of recipes. I'm a believer in, in processes. So we do things in a certain order and we go for that certain final, final taste. So that's why a chef should have an accurate palate. So if you give me a dish and I taste it, I can tell you what's in it and I can pretty reasonably get an approximation of that just because I understand how we get those flavors and in what orders we have to do that. So um, I think at least with the, the people that I teach, it's about, I want them to understand how we're getting to that end result. Consistency breeds credibility. Um, so by being consistent, that's when you really earn your chops. That's when you're showing everybody that this is what you're about because you're always doing it at that level. So like the big, the Michelin stars and the, those kind of restaurants of the world, it's about, we do the same thing every time, no matter what. So no matter which day you come in, no matter what time, you're gonna get the same experience at all times. And that's what we all strive for.